Hello and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Today we are going to be talking about Archmage Aragal. And this guy's, well, he's an interesting fellow, but he does have a, a short story, though it is rather interesting. And he's actually responsible for at least a part of the Worgen sort of resurgence into Azeroth. So overall, pretty cool guy, and let's just start right from the beginning. So, he is himself from Gilneas, and he was a pretty well-respected member of society. He was also, though, a very talented mage, and of course with Gilneas being right beside Dalaran, this meant that not only was he a good fit for the city, but he was also geographically quite close. So he eventually did join their ranks, and he began his research. And that was really him, sort of, for quite a while. One of his acquaintances during that period, though, was a guy called Ur. And Ur was actually researching into the Worgen, specifically how they could be summoned, and um, what they were, and then if he could somehow capture their power in an elixir to create super soldiers. Basically, Ur was a master of potions and elixirs, and he was looking for different methods of, of well, creating super soldier. And honestly, the Worgen seemed like a pretty good idea. Now, there's one thing that is worth mentioning here. They basically retconned Worgen lore during the Cataclysm. So, previously it was thought that they were extra-dimensional uh, beings and a whole bunch of things like that. But what it actually turns out it was is that there were a group of corrupted Night Elf Druids called, I think, the Druids of the Fang. And they were imprisoned in a barrow den in the forest called Blackwald, which is actually located in Gilneas. Now, there are also a bunch of other things to do with an artifact called the Scythe of a Loon, and basically the Worgen kind of curse spreading from it, but essentially that's the lowdown. They're a bunch of corrupted night elf druids, or at least the original kind of Worgen were. So anyway, not a great deal actually happened in Dalaran. Aragal just kind of chilled out, did his research, and so did Ur. But then, the city was sacked. Of course, during the Third War, Arthas needed to attack the city so they could get uh, some various, just like, artifacts and things. I believe it was the Book of... Yeah, I think it was the Book of Medivh. Anyway, they needed to get it so that they could summon in Archimond. And in the sack of this city, Ur was killed, and actually a lot of the mages were. But Aragal was rather lucky. He fled, and he ended up finding Shadowfang Keep, and he took up residence there. Now, he was there basically with a few other mages, and they were all just kind of a bit worried, you know, with the entire Scourge invasion. They were trying to come up with ways to fight the Scourge, and I guess ultimately liberate Dalaran. And at this time, Aragal became interested in Ur's work. I guess he probably just remembered the kind of thing that Ur was doing and realized, well, a bunch of uh, super soldiers would be pretty handy right now. So he ended up using Ur's research to summon in the Worgen, now, this is where, once again, the lore dichotomy does play up, but basically, yeah, let's just say he summoned in some of these uh, sort of worgen, night elves, twisted things that were under the forest in Blackwald. So he summoned them in, and there's a bit of a problem with that, because these worgen were completely mad. The Druids of the Fang, sure, they were night elves at some point, but they've completely lost control over everything. They're feral animals, essentially. So they did actually kill a lot of undead, but they also killed a lot of mages, which wasn't so good for Aragal and his friends. And Aragal himself, though, actually ended up making it through, and he was completely grief-stricken, uh, grief not grief, grief isn't a thing, um, he was grief-stricken, and honestly, quite maddened. And it is this twist of madness which caused him to take them in as his children, and that is essentially where we were in vanilla. Players then went in, they killed him, and they beheaded him, and that would have been that if it wasn't for our good friend, uh, friend Arthas, who decided to resurrect the guy. Arthas commanded the undead blood elf princes, uh, Kaliseth, Valinar, Theraldris, and Anthran to resurrect him and uh, bind him into like a sort of ghost form. And then of course, um, keep him sort of in tap with the will of the Scourge. And of course, all they really needed was his mind, not his body, so being a ghost was fair enough. And that is where we get the entire Shade of Aragal story in the Grizzly Hills. And Aragal's mission was to go to the Grizzly Hills and basically spread the Worgen curse. And he did that quite successfully. He went to the various logging camps and he converted many of them into the Cult of the Wolf. And those who didn't, of course, join the cult were just killed and, well, probably eaten too, because Worgen probably get hungry just like the rest of us. Now, eventually, we did fight our way through the Worgen. We figured out the whole plot. We went up to his tower and we killed his ghost. So not only have we killed the real guy, we've also killed his ghost. He's, he, he ain't coming back. This guy's dead. And I guess it is a little bit of a kind of tragic story what he 
you know, he always had the best um, of intentions, but it just completely backfired. He couldn't deal with what he had done, and that's kind of where things went downhill for him. Now, interestingly enough, the Cataclysm version of Shadowfang Keep is actually a little bit different because it has Lord Godfrey in it. That is a story for its own right, but essentially Lord Godfrey was risen as a Forsaken by Sylvanas. And that's fair enough, he did her bidding for quite a while, but ultimately he ended up betraying her. She, um, He actually shot and killed her, and then she was later resurrected. But after he did that, he of course realised that everything wanted to kill him, because both, well, the Alliance wanted to kill him because... In their eyes, he was still some crazy undead thing, and of course, the Forsaken wanted to kill him because, you know, he killed Sylvanas. So he just fled to Shadowfang Keep, and we can just assume that he sort of got all, uh, you know, in with the locals. And that's pretty much the story of Archmage Aragal. A little bit, uh, I guess technically it's sad. I mean, I don't have any sympathy for him. He was a total dick, as it turned out, but... Hey, it's uh, just another little story in World of Warcraft, and actually, I think it's a, it's a pretty decent one. It's nice when somewhere like Shadowfang Keep has actually got... A good bit of story behind it. Okay, so that's it for the video. If you would like to help out the channel, you can check out my Patreon page and then my social media links, which are in the video description. And uh, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.